county of Narok with a helicopter like he's using a boda boda. If he forgets his walking stick or his talking stick, he will get into a chopper and jump in and say, send that chopper to collect for me that stick and bring it back. The control of budget said 451 million shillings were spent here. I want to know. I've written to the governor, given him 21 days which are lapsing. If he doesn't, I will deal with the governor. This spending, we were told Trukana was 1 billion. Narok is 451. Now I'll deal with my Narok. That 451, how do you justify spending 451 million in local transport using about $1.3 million in a helicopter, yet your hospitals do not have medicine? How do you do that? If you say you spend $1.6 billion to buy um, earth-moving equipment, grader, excavator, shovel, why is food rotting in the farms right now during this rainy season? So we should be seeing a myriad of activities of all those uh, earth-moving equipment that you bought. So what we are calling for is accountability. And I have attempted, I have literally attempted, I've had several meetings with the governor. I've attempted to bring this matter. So by hitting the wall, I support the Tourism Federation going to court. I'm going to be seeking to be enjoined in that case because I don't want my people to lose jobs. You know, I also want to call upon all two operators to come and don't be afraid. Because if you, if you go to the Mara, the people who are employed in the Mara are locals. All those locals are going to lose their jobs. Narrow County has been turned into a one family affair. All contracts of Narrow County are determined by one family of Olentutu. It is a dynasty versus the community. These are true facts. One company is owned by the father, the other company is owned by the daughter and the son-in-law, the daughter who is also a shareholder of the company owned by the father. This is a company called Phil of Farm Engineering in Nairobi. They were given a tender of 1.6 billion to supply earth moving equipment. I've now written to the governor because when I attempted to stop that, they were able to get their way through from the procurement, public procurement oversight authority. Now we wait for the aftermath. I've written to him, I've given him 21 days, which are lapsing on the 13th, to be able to produce logbooks, to be able to produce delivery notes, to be able to produce payment records of all the 1.6 billion which was budgeted in the last financial year. And also, to give us a logbook so that my team here, which is led by the Senate Oversight Manager, can be able to go and oversight and see. The auditors do come. They come, they check. But they're human beings. Sometimes maybe they close one eye, we want to open both our eyes. Number two, at the time when even the current occupier of the house in the hill has reduced the visa entry fee from 50 to 30, Narrow County is chasing away tourists. Over 60% of pre-sale tickets to come to the game reserve in July are now being cancelled. We are risking a lawsuit with the European community. We are risking lawsuits of all our agents who have, been, who have sold tickets to other agents abroad because rules of tickets apply differently in different jurisdictions. You cannot just all of a sudden come in and say, I'm hiking the prices to $200. And even, even, even when hiking the prices in $200, all that money is not going to the coffers. All that money is being diverted. Recently, the, the CC Finance went and, and confronted Chief Park Administrator, who allows vehicles to enter. He's able to take that money. We want to stop that nonsense. We want to make sure that we charge what we can be able to charge. There are so many tourists who enter the park and they don't pay park entry fees. That park entry fee, they do pay themselves, but it goes into some people's pockets, which is a fact. It's a known fact. You know, coupled with the fact that now we are increasing the fees, you know, it is, it is wrong. There are 46 campsites in the Mara. Nobody knows how those people were located, those camps. They are charging now a bed night fee of $80. In total, the Greater Mara 
has over 5,000 beds. The Greater Mara, not even the Triangle area. The Greater Mara has over 5,000 beds. So if you are charging $80 and you are saying that I'm charging $80 bed night fee and I'm charging you 